Whenever we're taking a look at sinus bradycardia, sinus bradycardia is simply normal sinus rhythm, but with a slower heart rate. And typically what we're looking at is a heart rate less than 60 beats per minute. This is how we define bradycardia. Now, it's important to know that sinus bradycardia, just like normal sinus rhythm, is indeed a sinus rhythm because the impulse, the electrical impulse, actually begins in that SA node, in that sinoatrial node. So, therefore, we have a sinus rhythm. But again, the main differentiator between normal sinus rhythm and sinus bradycardia is that we have this slower heart rate. Now, what are some of the common causes of bradycardia? So some of the common causes of bradycardia include hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia is actually associated with uh, hypokalemia, right? Lower blood potassium levels, which results in bradycardia. Hypothyroidism is also something that can cause bradycardia as well as hypothermia. I'd like for you to imagine that you are climbing Mount Everest and you are in an extremely cold environment. As you're moving through an extremely cold environment, you're going to slow down physically. Everything is going to slow down. Your metabolism is going to slow down. All of the cellular processes of your body, everything is going to slow down in an attempt to conserve energy. And as a result, one of the other things that will drop is heart rate. So what are some of the common assessment findings that we may see in patients experiencing bradycardia? Well, it's important to remember that cardiac output equals stroke volume times heart rate. Now, if that sounds a little bit fuzzy to you, make sure you check out our course on hemodynamics to bring further clarity. But what we have here in a patient with bradycardia is we have a decreased heart rate, right? Again, remember, less than 60 beats per minute. And if our heart rate is decreased, then it stands to reason that's going to decrease our cardiac output. If your cardiac output is decreased, the amount of blood that your left ventricle can eject per minute, then it stands to reason that's going to cause a drop in your blood pressure. So what you're going to see as a result, all of this as a result of decreased uh, heart rate, you're going to see a drop in your blood pressure, dizziness, syncope, shortness of breath, cool and clammy skin, all a result of the bradycardia that the patient is experiencing.